Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can create an out of the box page approval in SharePoint Online. Uh, here's the situation for you. Let's say you have a SharePoint site, um, probably a communication site, right? A site that will be uh, visible, let's say by the whole organization. And you want to tightly control the changes made to the site. All right, uh, maybe you have several people modifying the content, adding announcements, you know, changing the layout, obviously, because this is an employee facing site. Maybe you want to incorporate some sort of approval uh, before, uh, you know, before the site, before the page is published and uh, becomes visible to everyone. So how do we make it happen? So we are going to utilize the Power Automate functionality. And luckily, we have an out of the box template that will allow us to create that workflow, the page approval uh, workflow. Um, so uh, let me show you how to build that. So again, I have this communication site over here, and I would like to go ahead and uh, create a page approval for, let's say, this particular page, all right? Um, let me show you how to do that. So we are going to navigate to gear icon, site content. We are navigating to site pages library. Okay, that's where the site, you know, pages reside. All right, here we go. Here is our page over here. And at the moment, at the moment, um, just to show you, just to show you who has access to the site. All right. Perfect. I have access. You don't get to see my name here, but I'm the admin. Uh, and of course, I have Mary who has full control. And let's just say we uh, want to make sure that, you know, Mary approves all the, um, all the uh, you know, changes to the page, all right? So Mary is going to be the approver. Um, now, um, the way it works, we need to create an, uh, a Power Automate workflow, and we're going to create it on the site pages library. Essentially, what that means is that any changes to any of the pages, right? I only have one over here, but if I had additional pages over here, if somebody creates a new page, they would fall, all fall under the same approval workflow. We're essentially creating a workflow on the whole library. And once I click on the Automate Power Automate, you see I have pretty much, uh, obviously I can create my custom workflows, but we're going to utilize the out of the box one, configure page approval uh, flow. Here we go. And let's create it. All right. It's going to utilize, essentially it's telling me the different actions that are going to be used behind the scenes in order to make uh, approve, you know, that uh, workflow work. Uh, it's going to utilize my credentials to create it. Perfect. All right, and this is where, um, you you know, we give a name to our workflow. So let's say, um, you know, employee hub page approval. All right, just give it a name. And this is where you set the approvers. All right, uh, you will be able uh, to tweak them later, add or, you know, remove approvers i will show that to you as well uh, but for now let's keep it keep it simple we'll just add mary mary is going to be our approver uh, for any changes here we go perfect so the workflow has been created um, first i would like to demonstrate a kind of the process you know what happens when somebody makes a change and the whole approval process and then i'll show you um, you know, what happens behind the scenes, you know, where the workflow resides and how to tweak it. All right, so let me demonstrate this feature to you now. So I'm logged in as Greg here. I'm going to make a change to this page. Doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, I'm going to, let's just say, you know, type in, uh, uh, you know, maybe add a web part. All right, doesn't really matter uh, what kind of change it is. Here we go. And look, in the upper right hand corner, I usually have the publish button, right? I mean, publish button of obviously allows me to just publish the change, but not yet, all right? Because obviously we created the workflow now, it has to go through the submission, through the approval process. So we just hit submit, all right? And, um, you know, essentially um, uh, the user has to, you know, just kind of accept the defaults here, click continue. This is where the user types in the message to the approver. So, um, you know, this is where I can say, Mary, please approve. You know, you can obviously uh, specify what you did to the page. Uh, so the approver knows, here we go, click submit. All right, 
let me show you now what uh, happens um, what happens to Mary behind the scenes. So uh, first of all, as you can see here, the page is not published. The page, you know, if I didn't have the workflow, uh, the page would be published by now, but uh, obviously it's not. It just tells me over here it's pending approval. All right. And let me show you. Let's go to Mary's screen. So here is Mary logged in. Let me refresh my screen. Perfect. Now, um, there are three places. There are three places where Mary can approve the page. So first location is Outlook. Uh, usually it takes uh, um, you know, um, some time to, for, for the email to arrive. But essentially, Mary will get an email. And um, Mary would be able to approve or reject right from the email. That's location number one. Location number two, Mary can you know, navigate to the page and click review approvals here. All right. And Mary can pretty much approve or reject right from here as well. And another thing, um, another cool thing here is that Mary can also reassign it. All right. Maybe, you know, what Mary wants someone else to take a look, essentially offload the task to someone else as well. All right. So that was location number two. Uh, the other location where Mary can approve, um, um, a, you know, the uh, or reject the request is the Power Automate. So if Mary navigates to Power Automate, over here and let's see so if mary goes on the action uh, on the action items approvals all right here we go you see here is the the task for her uh to approve or reject uh, a particular a particular item all right um doesn't really matter you know we might as well just approve or reject here as well so here we go we and again we can approve reject or reassign but let's just say we approve here we go, uh, and uh, you know Mary can supply a comment here. Perfect. Let's see now what happens. So yeah, the task is completed, and let's navigate. Let's navigate back to uh, my screen again. Here we go. That's me logged in here, and let me refresh it. Perfect. Look at this. The page has been published. Mary approved it. All right, and of course I would get an email. Um, you know, telling me that uh, this page, uh, you know, was approved as well. All right. So very, very easy to implement. Very, very, um, you know, kind of straightforward process. Now, let me also have, uh, you know, show you uh, now what happens behind the scenes. Let's say, let's just say you maybe want to tweak the approvers, right? Maybe uh, we want to add a few more, more people or change Mary to someone else. Um, so what happens behind the scenes when we created this workflow? Uh, it obviously got created in Power Automate. So let me click on Power Automate here. And here we go. Here are my workflows. All right. Perfect. And here's the workflow we just created. All right. Perfect. Um, now let me click Edit just to show you what happened when we created that workflow. Essentially, um, the workflow was created for us automatically. All right. And all these different actions, all these different steps were created for us automatically. Now, if you're comfortable with Power Automate uh, and all these different actions, you can definitely, you know, kind of take a look and tweak the logic, maybe add additional emails, notifications, etc. But one area I want to highlight your attention to is this area over here. This is where you can change, let's say, you know, let's say we want to add, you know, John as an approver. All right. This is where you can actually add additional people or remove, etc. And you can also specify the logic. You see, for example, you know what? Let's say there are multiple approvers. Uh, I want to say, you know what? I don't care who approves. You know, at least somebody uh, from management should approve, or everyone must approve. All right. Uh, again, um, you know, very, very, um, you know, straightforward for you to change. Here we go. Uh, and then. Uh, make sure to you know obviously hit save you know you publish your workflow and uh, at that point pretty much um, you, you know the um, uh, you will be able to utilize the workflow with the changes that you made all right uh, so that's all i wanted to show you uh, today in this particular video 
um, nice and easy um, uh, to implement. I don't think you will be uh, implementing this right for you know team sites, right, uh, which are kind of a little bit less formal. I think this particular page approval functionality is great for employee facing sites. You know, maybe your home site, you know, the main landing page, maybe um, some sort of HR employee hub. Uh, essentially, the sites, you know, the pages uh, that will be seen by everyone within the organization. All right. Uh, all right. Again, thank you very much for your attention. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.